This is perhaps one of the most important documents in our nation's history, the Emancipation Proclamation. The U.S. Government Printing Office has on display an original printed copy of the preliminary version which is on loan from the Library of Congress. GPO employees set the type by hand to print 15,000 copies of this version in 1862, which was then issued as a general order by President Lincoln prior to the final handwritten version in 1863. The Emancipation Proclamation is just one of the historic documents part of GPO's 150th anniversary history exhibit. GPO employees joined public printer Bill Borman in the ribbon cutting and opening of the exhibit in June 2011. The exhibit illustrates GPO's 150 year history, the work employees do, and the agency's role in the history of our nation. Well, this is just a tremendous day for all of us to be here um, to represent the people that worked before us, to walk in their footsteps, all the work that they did over the years to make this possible. And the fact that it was done by 100% by GPO employees, put this whole thing together, makes it very special. The exhibit features a timeline of GPO's history beginning on March 4, 1861, the day GPO opened for business and when employees used handset type and then takes visitors through today's digital age where employees utilize the latest technologies to make federal documents available to the public. We know that printing for the various agencies in Congress, how important that is, but when you see some of those products like Emancipation Proclamation, it just, I mean, as an American, it just overwhelms me. The exhibit showcases important work GPO has done for Congress, the President, and federal agencies. For example, in 1964, GPO produced the Warren Commission report on President John F. Kennedy's assassination. The complete report is comprised of 26 volumes and more than 19,000 pages. GPO set up special security measures to prevent leaks and keep the information confidential. And in 1991, President George Herbert Walker Bush signed a copy of his State of the Union address thanking GPO employees because with only three hours notice, GPO employees produced and delivered copies of the address to Capitol Hill for members of Congress. In 2009, GPO printed President Barack Obama's official photograph, the first ever digital official photograph of a president. And also on display is a linotype machine used by General Pershing in World War I, which was installed in a truck and served as a mobile print shop to produce essential war reports, maps, charts, and other materials. This linotype has resided at GPO since 1926. Oh, it's amazing. It shows the infancy of GPO and how it's exploded to where it is today. And it's, uh, it's awesome. It's an awesome display. It's, uh, everyone should attend. Employees visiting the exhibit are proud to see the work they do on display. Virginia Saunders, one of GPO's longest serving employees, passed away in June 2009 after 63 years of service to the agency. Saunders worked on congressional documents during her long GPO career. Diane Ferguson worked side by side with Saunders for nearly eight years. Virginia was an icon to GPO. Um, she's taught me so much knowledge over the years. She will be truly missed here, and the knowledge that stays here, I think she would be very proud if she was here today to see this exhibit. GPO is also sharing its 150-year story in a new book on the agency's history. The book was written, compiled, designed, and printed by GPO employees and features historic photographs. Together, the book and the exhibit tell the story of GPO's history and its evolution over the last 150 years. I hope that people walk away and get a sense of what a marvelous place this is and what a great asset this is for the United States government. From the printing of the Emancipation Proclamation in 1862 to making government information available online and in a variety of formats today, GPO employees continue to work around the clock to carry out the agency's historic mission of keeping America informed.